Hello, internet. Um, as any perfume enthusiast may have heard recently, Killian has released a new olfactive family called the Liquors. And I happened to get a sample with a purchase, which these samples, which is one of Angel Share and one of Roses on Ice, are going for about $25 on Mercari, and I got a major steal, like, it was insane. I got a half of a Ralph Lauren blue bottle, a brand new Killian travel size bottle, and this for 40 bucks. So, insane. I'm going to be selling this because I bought a full size of one of them. And right now, I want to tell you what I think about this. So, this is a very cool sample, by the way. Uh, you, like, open it this way. And at first it shows you the picture of the roses on ice and talks about it. And then you open it more and then it has Angel Share and it talks about it. And of course this is a star of the show. If you've seen any of the advertising, they're really pushing this one, which yeah, I think is very justified. I really like that one. But anyway, we'll talk about it. So first we're going to talk about Angel Share because if you clicked on this video, there's like at least a 50% chance that's why. <laughs> so you're welcome. You don't have to click through the video. Um... So I'm on for Grantica right now, and it says the main accords in the order of, like, how much? Just look at for Grantica. Um, it's woody, sweet, warm, spicy, vanilla, cinnamon, amber, and then at the bottom it says powdery and lactonic. I don't know too much about what that means, but woody, sweet, warm, spicy, and vanilla, cinnamon, and amber. I all agree with that, and... Um, the first thing I thought when I put it on was, like, really, really, really amazing warm apple pie with, like, booze in it. So good. It's so good. Okay. <coughs> Don't mind me. So the top note is cognac, and middle notes is cinnamon, tonka bean, and oak. And then the base notes are praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. So... In my opinion, when you first spray it on, it's just like, bam, apple pie. Somebody is baking the most bomb-ass apple pie you've ever had in your kitchen, and you're, like, sitting, like, right in front of the oven, <laughs> smelling it, and you're just like, mmm, I can't wait for this. And uh, it kind of keeps that throughout the day, but not as intense, because right when you spray it, like, holy crap, so intense, apple pie. So it calms down a little bit over the day, and then more of the, like, Tonka bean and cinnamon come out, and then also, like, the sandalwood and the, like, vanilla kind of come in a little bit to kind of balance it out and not just be, like, straight apple pie, but more, like, complex and, like, really tasty. I don't really... I thought I didn't like gourmands, but I guess I do, because I also like Black Phantom, okay? And I like uh, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera a little bit, so I don't know. Still figuring it out, but the sample here says... The Angel Share is the translation of Killian Hennessy's olfactive memory of the family oak barrels drenched in eau de vie. I don't know what that means. Um, and it has three notes written. Cognac, Essence, Tonga Bean, Absolute, and Oak, Absolute. So I agree with that, but I'd also include the cinnamon if I was them because... It really does scream apple pie, which has cinnamon, but that's my opinion. Maybe my nose is different than yours. I mean, of course it is, but whatever. So here, look at the sample real good. You can like, oh my God, I'm trying to see, but also let you see. Ooh, when you're new to YouTube. Okay. Hopefully it's somewhere in that you can pause it in. <laughs> okay. So... I love this. I sprayed the sample on my wrist when I got it and I waited about an hour because then it was bedtime and I had to take a shower. But so the next day I wore it and I was like, I hope that when it dries down over time, it doesn't like get not so good, but it was good all day. I love it so much. So um, I then proceeded to buy a full size less than a week later. And so I've sprayed this thing like twice and now I'm going to sell it <laughs> because I'm getting the whole bottle. Um, I also tried the Roses on Ice on my wrist a couple days later, and 
I figured out I don't really like these like fresh cocktail-y type smells so that's what this is okay so now we're gonna talk about roses on ice so to me angel share 10 out of 10 worth the 200 bucks yes it's expensive but it's so good you have to smell it yourself and uh that's all i have to say so now we're going to talk about roses on ice and uh let me go to that on for granty cut so mana quartz are ozonic which what is that aquatic aromatic also what is that green fresh spicy woody citrus rose and musky so I have to say, I only had this on my wrist for about half an hour, and then I was like, I'm washing this off, I don't like it, I'm not going to buy it. So maybe I only got the initial, like, top notes. But let me also read you the sample. It says, Roses on Ice is the emotion of a gin on the rocks, uniquely distilled with roses and cucumber. And the notes they put on the sample are cucumber flavor, juniper berries essence, and Rose Absolute. And here is the packaging and marketing images for these are so beautiful. Okay? Like, supposedly there are dupes for the Angel Share or like similar perfumes, which is the case for like every single perfume ever. But the packaging is so good on these. I wouldn't even want the dupe. Like, good luck matching this pack packaging okay it's nuts so yeah it's a very fresh green smell which I don't like personally um on Fragrantica it says top notes cucumber juniper berries and lime yes when I sprayed it that is exactly what I got it smelled like fresh wet grass and cucumber you know like aquatic wet grass and cucumber kind of thing so that's exactly what it's describing that is what I, like, they did a good job describing it, okay? Middle notes are rose. I also don't like rose, so I was, like, very not motivated to keep it on my wrist long enough to get there. And then the base notes are musk and sandalwood, which is pretty, like, basic. But if you like fresh green stuff, this might be really good for you. It's a good, they did a good job, but not my cup of tea, all right? So, um, what I did noticed though is when I first sprayed it and I was smelling it I'm like I've smelled this before what is it what is it and I happened to get a long time ago this one called Mark Instant Vacation Hamptons and like probably no one has ever really heard of this but I was looking for a fragrance that smelled like the beach because like when I was first getting into it I like all the beachy stuff and uh so I wanted to smell like the beach, you know? And their notes are sea notes, cotton flower, watery notes, driftwood, green notes, freesia, white woods, lily of the valley, and white musk. So you've got the aquatic green kind of thing going on. And it is just the same the whole time. So I sprayed it on myself once and I was like, cool, I smell like a beach resort. Um... <laughs> That's a good smell for a resort, but maybe not for a person, in my opinion. So I sprayed it in my fake plants around my apartment a couple times, but I'm like, I'm not really using this, so I'm selling it now. But um, the initial spray of the Killian one, that's what I thought of. And that's called Mark Instant Vacation Hamptons. So I'm going to put all these in the description, obviously, but I just thought that was interesting. It's like a resorty, aquatic, grassy spa smell okay so another Killian that I also don't like that's in the same vein of these fresh cocktail things uh, is the one called fun things always happen after sunset and I got a sample of it with a bundle of perfume samples I bought on Mercari a little while ago um, and the Fragrantica says the main accords are fruity green tropical Sorry, I didn't get any of those besides maybe the green. Also, rose. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. Musky, fresh, floral, woody. Okay, so what I was getting from it was fresh and cucumbery and like, and cut 
grass and I anything that smells like cut grass I'm not interested in wearing that okay so here the perfume pyramid says black currant and green notes for the top notes so the green notes probably what threw me off then the middle notes are lychee and rose so lychee is really weird because it's like a fruit but this is my interpretation it's like really watery smelling and I think when something smells like water it's kind of weird like I want to smell the thing but there's so much water diluting it and like how do you capture the smell of water I don't know but it's a thing so um so you got a note in the top notes I don't like the green notes and then the middle notes are like watered down fruit and rose which I also don't like and then the base notes were musk and patchouli which is like basic base okay <laughs> so um they did a good job it was supposed to be like a cocktail when you're out at the bar at night it's called after sunset and like it's gets to the heart of when the party starts Ooh. so yeah they did a good job it smells exactly like what it says it's just all the things I don't like <laughs> so there you go but don't not get it if you like these notes it's really good it's just I don't like the notes okay so let's talk about another one I don't like which is going to surprise many people because it was so hyped up like a year ago this is good girl gone bad yeah the one that everybody was like losing their minds over okay so <laughs> the main accords for good girl gone bad are floral white floral why you gotta say that twice fruity tuberose yellow floral oh my god it's like every floral ever green soft spicy rose animalic and amber so that's weird. I feel like there was a fresh or like a soapiness to it, which is part of why I didn't like it. But we'll keep reading this first before I talk about that. So the top notes in Good Girl Gone Bad, and this is the original version, not the ooh fresh and not the extreme, just the plain normal one that comes in the white, solid white bottle with the gold, okay? Top notes are Osmanthus, Jasmine, and May Rose. Middle notes are Indian Tube Rose and Narcissus. And base notes are amber and cedar. So I wore this multiple times. Like I got one of the travel size ones from Mercari. And I wore it multiple times. And I did like it at first. It was very like sassy. Like that bitch. Like you're going to the mall. And you're just like looking so nice and crisp. Yeah I would use the word crisp for this. Like you're wearing like a nice ironed white dress. It's like real crisp. You know what I'm saying? And your like hair is done. It's like got big curls to it and it's like sprayed in place and it's not going anywhere. You're just like crisp. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's really floral, which I can be into sometimes, but it also had this like soapiness to it. Like I don't like anything with soap in it. I got a dupe from Dollar Tree for JLo Glow, and that just smells like straight hand soap to me. I don't like that at all. And this one did have a soapy note. Maybe it was the May Rose. I don't know. I can't really see on these notes what it might have been. But if it hadn't had that, I would probably really like it. But I just started noticing that. Like, once I noticed it, I couldn't not notice it. And then I, like, asked my boyfriend. I was like, hey, do you, like what do you think about this? And he was like, I don't know, something's off about it. And I was like, is it like soap? And he was like, yeah, <laughs> it's soap. So I was like, mm, I'll sell that. So it sold pretty quickly because it was like really in. And I think it's still one of their favorite, like their best sellers. So that's my opinion. They don't say soap note, but I think it has one. But if you're sassy and you're like always looking on point, and like crisp crisp is a weird word I'm sorry if I'm making you hate that word okay yeah good girl gone bad <laughs> next <laughs> another one I don't like by Killian is probably one of the more rare ones it's called love the way you feel by Killian so he did a um, let me not tell you wrong for granted, got changed recently. Okay, well, it was he went to Malibu, I think it was some beach place, 
and made a collection that was love the way you feel and love the way you taste and i think those were the only two and the love the way you taste was like some fresh cocktail i think it was supposed to be a moscow mule scent which we already know i don't like that so i never was interested but the love the way you feel one sounded pretty neat to me because again i was looking for a beach smell and the notes are just there's no top middle base it's just four notes coconut tiare flower ylang ylang and vanilla and unfortunately this was before i learned that tiare flower in a perfume especially when accompanied by coconut and ylang ylang means this is going to smell like sunscreen and I guess sunscreen does smell like a beach because when you go to a beach there's a bunch of people around you wearing sunscreen and you're gonna smell it but I wanted more of the ocean breeze sand warm smell not sunscreen so that was on me for not knowing that I guess um, basically I put it on one time and I was like oh hell no I smell like sunscreen and then I sold it um, so if you like those kind of beachy sunscreen smells, maybe this is for you, but in my opinion there are other ones out there and you do not need to be looking for this ultra rare, super expensive perfume to get a sunscreen smell. Just my opinion, okay? Um, so that was Love the Way You Feel by Killian. Now we're going to talk about ones I like because I do like Killian, okay? I just have ones that I like and ones that I don't like, just like every other person out there. So, Back to Black is one of their most talked about, most popular. I have the travel size, and if it ever gets empty, I will get another one. Um, this is unisex, and I tend to like the unisex ones a lot. <laughs> like, Angel Share is unisex, and so is this one, and I'm going to talk about one more that I like, and it also is. So, Back to Black aphrodisiac it says at the bottom back to black aphrodisiac um the fragrance notes there's no top middle bottom it's just a big it's a lot it's like it's a big chunk of notes so i'm gonna just list them off real quick white honey tobacco cherry vanilla raspberry almond gingerbread tonka bean amber nutmeg chamomile benzoin saffron cardamom patchouli French labdanum, olibanum, oak, Virginia cedar, coriander, bergamot, germane, geranium. Okay, that was all the notes. So, um, maybe they have that thing on here where people vote for the biggest notes. No, I don't know why they changed the site recently. I, I think that was a mistake. But... The main accords for Grantica says for Back to Black are sweet, honey, tobacco, and then it says fruity, amber, cherry. Okay, so what I get is sweet, honey, and tobacco. And if I had to describe it to someone, I would say this smells like honey and incense. And it smells so good. Like, to me, those are the two notes. And it is very complex because all the other ones are in there. But what I noticed just on the first, like, smelling it without getting all into every little like minute thing it's honey and incense which incense is kind of complicated but it smells really good i would love to smell this on literally anyone <laughs> like girl guy whatever whoever any age like maybe not a 12 year old that'd be weird but <laughs> um it smells really good i really like it if you want something like sexy but not like typical sexy but that everybody will like this is a really good one you know like if you want to be different but also like still have something that everyone will probably like this is a good one um yeah I don't know if I give this a 10 out of 10 because I have to be like in the mood to wear it because it is pretty strong especially the honey is like if you don't love honey don't buy this but you know I give it like a 7 or 8 out of 10 it's pretty good it is definitely a winter scent. It's really warm and cozy feeling. So if you were wearing this with a nice, warm, cozy sweater, that would be like perfect. And this would be great for like snuggling, but only do one spray. Please don't kill your boyfriend or whatever, um, or girlfriend. 
But yeah, yeah, that's back to black, which to me is honey and incense. <clears throat> Last one we're going to talk about is Black Phantom. This is the first one I ever smelled from Killian. And that is how I got introduced to the brand. They happened to have a tester at a Nordstrom that me and my sister went to. And I made a sample of it for myself. And it smells so good. Main accords are sweet, warm and spicy, caramel, coffee, chocolate, rum, woody, almond, powdery, and vanilla. And I pretty much agree. I guess I've never really thought about it as caramel before, but it is like a coffee drink, kind of. So the notes are... Oh, it's all just one lump of notes again. It's not like top, middle, bottom. Um, dark chocolate, rum, caramel, coffee, sugarcane, almond, sandalwood, and heliotrope, which I agree with. So, yeah, it's basically a boozy coffee drink with, like, caramel and chocolate in it, and it's really good. It smells so good. Like, me describing it, it smells so good. It's it just, like, it smells really good, and it's really good. Yeah, that, yeah really good. No. Uh, it smells like coffee and has those hints of like booze. That's like Killian's thing is like there's always a hint of booze in everything which at first I didn't know what that kind of meant but now I'm starting to pick up on it. It's like a theme and it makes their stuff really interesting and like more sexy and like have some more depth than other things. So I do like that. Um... Yeah, the rum and the coffee are really strong in this. And it's like rum and that coffee that you would get at, like, Starbucks. Not super duper sweet, but, like, with a little bit of chocolate caramel stuff in it. Um, and also, it has a hint of cyanide in it. <laughs> uh, not literally, but it does have this little, like, edgy, spicy thing going on. Like, just a hint of it. So it makes it really interesting. Yeah, I don't know why they had to change the Fragrantica website, but at the bottom of the bottle it says Memento Mori, which is means something about pirates. I'm so sorry. But um, it's supposed to be inspired by, like, the barrels of rum that were on the pirate ships. So, yeah, coffee and rum, that's what pirates live on, right? Apparently. It smells really good. Um, yeah, those are all my Killians, so... I would give that Black Phantom probably a 8 or 9 out of 10. Again, I have to be in the mood for it. Uh, over the summer, I thought that I didn't like it anymore, but it's more like a winter fragrance, so in the summer it gets kind of weird, and that, like, cyanide note kind of comes out more, and it's, like, too much, and it's just weird. But now that it's cooler outside again, it's, like, today is the 1st of November here. Um, I really like it again. It's really great. So it's another one of those like cozy sweater type like cuddling and maybe like more sexy smell but not like stupidly sexy like every other sexy perfume ever like generic. No like this is its own thing but most people will probably like it but it's different than what most people are wearing. So oh my god. <laughs> okay so I'm looking at my desk like did I miss any? Yes, I missed one. So this is the Straight to Heaven. I can't say too much about this because I didn't spray it. Because I can smell it literally just by holding this up. This is a brand new bottle. This smells like really strong men's cologne. Um, I didn't spray it, obviously. I just said that like five times. Uh, let me look up the notes. This is the one I didn't prepare for. I guess I get like a 90 on this for preparation. Straight to Heaven by Killian. Also says White Cristal at the bottom. The main accords are woody, which I definitely pick up smelling this. It's like cedar, really strong cedar, just smelling the brand new bottle. Um, and then patchouli, rum, warm, spicy, powdery, fresh, spicy, and fruity. And the notes are all one lumping it instead of the top, middle, bottom, which 
or top middle base, which I think might have to do with the new layout on Fragrantico, which again, why? But whatever. So it says Virginia cedar, rum, patchouli, dried fruits, nutmeg, musk, vanilla, amber, and jasmine. So I guess I was hoping for more of it to lean towards the dried fruits and vanilla and not just be a cedar balm, which I haven't sprayed it, so I probably don't have any right to say anything about it, but just smelling it from the bottle, I was like, oh boy, probably not my cup of tea, not even going to bother. So <laughs> I'm selling that one. Um, yeah, it's live on Mercari right now if you want it. <laughs> Send me an offer, I'll do 40 Anyway, yeah, so those are all the Killians I've tried. Um, my favorites are Angel Share and Black Phantom, but I also do like Back to Black and all the other ones I've tried. No. <laughs> like, Good Girl Gone Bad was okay until I started noticing the soapiness, and then I was like, oh, no, no soap, please. <laughs> um, I also have the box. I got this off of Poshmark. Because I haven't bought a full bottle yet. And the full bottle of Angel Share I got just comes in the cardboard box. It doesn't come in one of these, I think. Maybe it does. I don't know. But the box actually locks. And I really love it. And I keep... It's a good size for these little travel size ones that I get. So you can hear I have them in there. I have the refills of Black Phantom from my travel size kit I got. But I really like this box. I recently got a little cabinet for my downstairs bathroom. That I keep all my perfumes in, which is perfect because they're not exposed to light and there's not a shower in there so it doesn't get humid. So it's like, great. And then I'm not spraying them in the bedroom bathroom while my boyfriend's sleeping and he's like just harassed by all these smells while he's sleeping. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but yeah, this was my full review of all the Killian stuff I ever had. Um, definitely, if you can get your hands on some, go and smell them. They're really fun and interesting, but also very expensive. Also, just check out their website. They have such good photography and like marketing and artwork for all of their different fragrances. Like, it's just beautiful to look at. Like, we can look at the sample again. Just look at, look at these, uh, beautiful. The whole website is like that. It's just like perfume photography porn over there, okay? Go check out the website. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. That's my Killian review. I guess if you've got any that you have tried, let me know down below and we can talk about it in the comments. Or if you're like, I can't believe you didn't like this or I can't believe you like that. Like, let's talk about it because this is a fun niche brand to try, but it's really expensive so we can't try a lot of them I guess so if we can each talk about each other's experiences and kind of build on it there that'd be fun but yeah um I realize I never say this in my videos if you guys like my videos and you like to see these little piggies this is Chai um and you just enjoy watching me talk and ramble about stuff please like the video and subscribe and you know leave us a little comment and tell us about how cute chai is oh, look he's such a good boy <laughs> so yeah i really appreciate it thanks hope you enjoyed this video chai hopes you enjoyed this video oh my god he just winked <laughs> it's good luck Bye.